Good morning everyone. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app and you can read the current affairs in this app. You can attempt the quiz. For regular updates, please join our Telegram channel. The link is given in the description box. You can subscribe to our channel Civils Academy if you find it relevant. Now, let's start. What is INS Karanj which was in news recently with reference to Indian defense? So, it is a Scorpion submarine. Why it was in news? Because recently Indian Navy got its third Scorpion submarine and it was commissioned in Mumbai as INS Karanj. It is a part of Project 75. So, Mazgao Dok Shipbuilders Limited has delivered three Scorpion class submarines to the Indian Navy so far. And what are these three Scorpion class submarines? One is INS Khanderi, one is INS Kalwari and INS Karanj. Recently, Indian Navy was also in use because of Tropax. So, it was the largest exercise by Indian Navy and it was organized in Indian Ocean region. What is Tropax? It is theater level operational readiness exercise. Recently, Indian Navy was also in use as it handed over INS Sindhuvir to Navy of Myanmar. And this is the first submarine of Navy of Myanmar. INS Sindhuvir is a submarine. Now recently, Myanmar was also in news because of a military coup. The previous name of Myanmar is Burma. And because of this military coup, various countries imposed sanctions on the Myanmar. What is the meaning of this term coup? That means now, army has taken over in Myanmar. And leader of NLD, that is National League of Democracy, Aung So Suu Kyi has been house arrested. Before this military takeover, NLD was in the power. The long-range surface-to-air missile was developed by which organization? So, it has been developed by DRDO. What is DRDO? It is Defense Research and Development Organization. It is under MOD, that is Ministry of Defense. So, recently, this final batch of LRSM, that is long-range surface-to-air missile was flagged off. Now, what is the meaning of this term? Surface-to-air. So, suppose this is the surface, so it will be launched from this and then it is going to hit the target in the air. So this missile system has been developed by DRDO in collaboration with different entities and it has been integrated by BDL. What is BDL? It is Bharat Dynamics Limited. So since this missile system has the capability to hit the target in the air, this will provide us defense against the aerial targets including fighter aircrafts and missiles. So it can destroy any upcoming missile in the air. Now recently, DRDO was in use because of SAAW. What is SAAW? So, it is Smart Anti-Airfield Weapon and this has been indigenously developed by DRDO. Apart from that, DRDO was also in use as it gave Rakshita to CRPF. Rakshita is a bike ambulance. CRPF is Central Reserve Police Force. CRPF is a CAPF that is Central Armed Police Force and CAPF are under MHA, Ministry of Home Affairs. Recently, MHA also launched Ayushman CAPF scheme. So, it is a health scheme for the members of CAP. DRDO was also in news as it celebrated its foundation day on 1st of January. Aribada is a term related to which species? So, this question is repeated in various examinations. It is related to sea turtle and it described the mass migration of sea turtle and a large number of female sea turtles assemble at the nesting site on the beach. Now, why it was in news recently? Because of different cyclones such as Cyclone Nevar and Burevi. The nesting season got delayed this time. Usually, it starts in November, but because of these cyclonic events and because of climate change conditions, this nesting season got delayed. Which institution releases the data on the credit and deposit measures of banks in India? So, it is released by Central Bank. So, it is released by our Central Bank, that is Reserve Bank of India. So, recently, RBI released the data on the credit and deposit of banks across the country. And as for this recent data, the bank credit grew at the rate of 5.93%. Now, if you are preparing for any bank examination, then obviously, this exact number is important for you. But if you are preparing for any other exam, then you just need to remember that there is approximately 6% growth in the bank credit. On the other hand, the deposits grew at the rate of 11%.
Now recently RBI was in news because it constituted a committee for urban cooperative bodies and this committee is to be headed by NS Vishwanathan. RBI was also in news because of Jayant Kumar Das committee. So this committee was constituted to prevent the digital lending frauds. RBI was also in news because of Utkash 2022. Answer in comment box what is this Utkash 2022. RBI was also in news because of its financial accounting year. So please answer what is the new financial year of RBI. Which manufacturing group has proposed to set up 5000 crore rupees phone component manufacturing unit in Tamil Nadu. So this has been proposed by Tata group and to be specific this has been proposed by Tata Electronics. So they are going to invest 5000 crore rupees for a phone manufacturing component in Tamil Nadu. Recently Tamil Nadu was also in news because of Grand Anicut Canal. Tamil Nadu was also in news as it was the top state in terms of Ayushman Bharat scheme. That means this state topped the list of beneficiaries of Ayushman Bharat. Recently it was in news because of its new industrial policy. It was also in news because of Sigur Plato. Heritage Corridor Project which was in news recently is associated with which state? So it is associated with Odisha government and recently Jagannath Temple Management Committee approved this project. It is a 800 crore rupees project. The objective is to redevelop the temple and its surrounding area. Please note that this Jagannath Temple is 12th century temple and it is situated in Puri in Odisha. And this temple was built by King Anant Varman of Ganga dynasty. So this is a project for the redevelopment of Jagannath Temple and it is in Puri. Temple was built by the King of Ganga dynasty and this temple was built in 12th century. Answer in comment books which temple is famous as Sun Temple. Nigerian American economist Ngozi Okonjo Aviela has been appointed as the director general of which organization. So C has been appointed as the new DZ of WTO that is World Trade Organization. C is from Nigeria and C is the first African woman to be appointed as the chief of WTO. What is WTO? It is World Trade Organization. It is an intergovernmental organization and the headquarters of WTO is in Geneva. C is the first female head of this institution and her tenure is set to begin on 1st of March 2021. Anti-radicalism bill which was in use recently is associated with which country? So it is associated to France. Recently France was in news because of this bill and this bill aims to strengthen the oversight of mosque, school and sports club. So this bill has been proposed to get rid of radical Islam. What is the name of electric two-wheeler that has been launched by IIT Madras incubated startup Pi Beam? So the name of the startup company is Pi Beam. It is incubated by IIT Madras and it has launched electric two-wheeler. And the name of this electric two-wheeler is Pi Mo. So this vehicle can be charged faster than a smartphone. So these were the most important questions. Now we are going to cover the important news events. First is related to Japan. So recently Dr. Thangjam Dabali Singh has been conferred the Order of Rising Sun Gold and Silver Rays. And this award is given by Japan. Dr. Dabali Singh is from Manipur. Next is Mr. Ajay Malhotra. So Mr. Malhotra became the first Indian to be the chairperson of advisory committee at Human Rights Council. The chairperson of this Human Rights Council is Nazhat Samim. So C is from Fiji. Please understand the difference that C is the head of this council. On the other hand, Mr. Ajay Malhotra is the head of this advisory committee of this council. And Mr. Ajay Malhotra is the first Indian to be on this post. Next is Indian Sign Language Dictionary. So recently Union Minister for Social Justice and Empowerment, Mr. Thawarchand Gehlod loans the third edition of this dictionary and it contains 10,000 terms. Next is Sandes. So it is a new platform that has been launched by NIC that is National Informatics Center. NIC is under Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. So what is the objective of this Sandes platform? It is GIMS that is Government Instant Messaging Systems. So with the help of this platform, government officials can communicate with each other 
It is similar to WhatsApp. So it can be used for all kind of communications by anyone using a mobile phone or email ID. Next is SARC that is South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation. The headquarters of SARC is in Nepal in Kathmandu. Recently it was in news because India organized a virtual health secretary level meeting of SARC members. Members of SARC are MBBS Pain. Next is Pajal Servection. So recently Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs launched this pilot project. The name of project is Pajal Servection. So this project has been launched in 10 cities. Objective is to provide universal coverage of water supply. So this project is related to water supply as the name suggests Jal. So this water supply is related to SDG 6. SDG stands for Sustainable Development Goals and this project is in accordance with SDG 6. Next is World Solar Bank. So this is an initiative of ISA. ISA stands for International Solar Alliance. So ISA is going to launch this World Solar Bank at COP26. COP26 is related to UNFCCC. That is United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change and it is going to be in Glasgow. It is in UK. UK is going to be the host of G7 Summit as well. Next is Siberian Mammoths. So recently oldest DNA on record was recovered from the teeth of Siberian Mammoths. Next is News Media and Digital Platforms Mandatory Bargaining Code. So recently Australia was in news because of this code and as per this code the digital platforms like Facebook and Google will have to pay to the media companies if they are going to use their content. So in the backdrop of this incident, Facebook has recently blocked the Australian users from reading and sharing new content. Recently, Google was also in news because of this code and Google has signed agreement with 7 West Media. As per this agreement, Google is going to pay to this media entity for using its content and therefore it is the first major media group in Australia to sign a licensing deal with Google under this mandatory bargaining code. Next is Ashoka, a sutra. So it is the name of book and it will be authored by Irwin Allen. Next is Scotch Chief Minister of the Year Award. So recently Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister YS Jagan Mohan Reddy was selected for this award. Next is Quad. Quad stands for Quadrilateral Security Dialogue. Four countries are the part of Quad and these four countries are our country. USA, Australia and Japan. Recently it was in use because the third meeting of Quad held virtually. The first meeting of Quad held in New York. Second meeting held in Tokyo. Tokyo is in Japan. Next is IIF that is Institute of International Finance. So recently it re released a report and as per that report world has never been so much in debt and as per 2020 the world debt is 281 trillion. This is approximately 355 percentage of global GDP. Next is global COVID-19 vaccination plan. So recently UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres asked G20 countries to prepare a vaccination plan. So this is related to G20 nations. Next is CECPA that is Comprehensive Economic Cooperation and Partnership Agreement. So recently India approved this partnership agreement with Mauritius. Capital of Mauritius is Port Louis. Next is Tiger X1. So it is a new concept vehicle by Hyundai and it is a walking car robot. Next Amazon India. So recently Amazon India was in news because it is going to start manufacturing of electronic products in our country and this will be done with the help of cloud network technology. So Amazon is going to collaborate with cloud network technology for the manufacturing of electronic products in our country. And this cloud network technology is a subsidiary of Foxconn. And the manufacturing unit is going to be set up in Chennai. And first they are going to manufacture the Fire TV stick. Next is Pahadi Billa. So it is the name of team which won the Kho Kho Super League Champions Trophy. Next is Fridays for Future. So this is an initiative by Greta Thunberg. And Greta Thunberg is environment activist from Sweden. What is the objective of this Fridays for Future? Objective is to encourage students to hold a strike on every Friday to pressurize the government to take actions against climate change. So why this was in news recently? Because in India, Disha Ravi is the co-founder of this Fridays for Future. Recently, she was arrested by the police in toolkit case. So obviously, 
This arrest itself is not important from exam perspective, but in exam they may ask you that what is the objective of this Fridays for future and they, they can give you that it is related to education, health, environment or any other option. So you just need to remember this much.